let's make a stencil out of this nice portrait. Start with cropping it. Get rid of all the background you don't need. I like to keep things on upscale almost every time. And then I load it. It's already looking way sharper and way better, but let's sharpen it a touch more so the stencil feature can pick up all those little details. Click done. Click stencil next. Now you can already see this thing's almost ready to go. If you prefer a more line-based stencil, just lower the intensity and the detail and you'll just have mostly lines. But if you like somewhere in between like I do, pump up both and watch some of that middle ground value come to life. Notice the edges and the contour lines, how they pump up a bit when you click up the intensity. If you lessen the detail though, they'll go back. Now you're ready to print. You can darken it or lighten it if you want. But I think we have a good, good spot. Feel free to mirror the image if you need to. And click send to printer. And you're ready to go.